Hi friends, today we will learn about vision which involves specialized cells and eyes to send nerve impulses to the brain which then processes visual information. The human eye is like an elongated ball about one inch in diameter with its exterior wall having three layers. The outermost layer is tough white fibrous sclera which maintains, protects and supports the shape of the eye. Cornea is the transparent front part of the sclera. Cornea focuses and refracts light rays. Choroid is middle thin layer with blood vessel network to nourish retina. Retina is the innermost layer about 22 millimeter in diameter and occupies 72 percent of the eye sphere and is filled with a clear jelly-like vitreous humor. Pupil is a hole in the choroid allowing light to enter whereas iris contracts and dilates to accommodate the light intensity. Lens shape is controlled by ciliary muscles. Retina has specialized types of neurons called photoreceptors. These are rod cells and cone cells. Rod cells are very sensitive to light and are responsible for night vision. Cone cells are sensitive to different wavelengths of light, helping with daytime vision and color perception. Fovea centralis, a small area in retina, has no rod cells. Cornea and lens focus the light on fovea, responsible for our sharp central vision. How do we see an object? Light rays fall on cornea and through the pupil and iris, enter the lens. Lens focuses the light rays on retina where rod and cone cell photoreceptors convert light photons to electrical signals through generation of action potential. These signals are transmitted through the optic nerve to occipital or visual brain cortex via visual pathway. The photoreceptors have visual pigments in the membranous disc of their outer segment. Visual pigments are rhodopsin GPCR receptors which interact with light photons. Within a picosecond of light activating the visual pigment, a biochemical cascade leads to a decrease in CGMP concentration, closing the sodium channels and leading to hyperpolarization. This signal is passed on to bipolar and then to emocrine and ganglion cells. The exons of ganglion cells carry the message to the brain. Hope you could understand how our eye is capable of vision. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel to get more useful videos. Thank you so much.